Good morning. It's uh, almost 6 a.m. and I'm getting ready to hit the road. And because we're so busy right now, I'm doing this road trip solo. And Virginia has some stuff she has to work on here at the farm. So I figured I'd take you along a shotgun. So buckle up and let's go. Haven't even got out of the county yet and I'm already getting delayed. All right. We are about an hour, a little over an hour into our trip. So I went ahead and stopped and uh, just gonna get out, do a walk around, check the hubs and make sure everything's okay on the trailer. This right rear hub has caused me problems before. We'll talk, we can talk about that later. All right, we are good to go. I guess I should talk about why I'm doing a road trip. And it's actually twofold. Uh, the first is to get a load of hay. So we are going to Carnation Farms in Carnation, Washington to get organic uh, grass hay since our cows are all dry. And we usually do a trip over there every year for hay. This is the first time I've been there by myself though, because as I mentioned earlier, we're really busy and Virginia couldn't come on this trip. The second reason is to look at a trailer for sale. I'm not gonna give out too many details yet, just stick with this video, uh, but I'm looking for a trailer and I found one that is for sale and could possibly fit my needs. So I'm going to check that out first. And so that's uh, what this trip is all about. It's a twofer. Back when I got out for my walk around, I mentioned I had problems with that right rear hub uh, before. And to be specific, it wasn't actually the hub, but last time we hauled a big load of hay uh, a long distance. On the way home, I noticed that hub getting hot uh, we were about an hour away from the farm. Uh, the grease was getting thrown out. So I re-greased it. I always carry a grease gun uh, when I travel and kind of limped home. Uh, got home okay and then I took everything apart and what had happened was uh, the brake lining uh, in the electric trailer brakes there had come loose from the shoe. One of the, one of the brake linings came loose from one shoe so it's just kind of floating around inside the brake drum there, uh, rubbing on stuff. And when you're rubbing on stuff like that, you get some friction and you get some heat. So uh, there's actually the, the brake drum heating up more than the hub, but the, uh, the heat was transferred into the hub. And that's what I felt. And uh, so I repaired it. I, got a, I just got a whole new electric brake assembly and put it in there. And I've done some short runs with this trailer hauling uh, supplies for the farm locally, but this is the first real long trip uh, that I've done since I fixed it. So I'm definitely keeping a close eye on it. And uh, so far so good. And uh, just hang in there, stick with us. It's gonna be a fun trip. Good morning. 
here I am on day two of the trip and it's first thing in the morning and I'm here at Carnation Farms to pick up the hay for our cows. Certified organic grass hay and uh, I'm a little early so I thought I'd just film for a minute but otherwise uh, I'll be loading up and then heading back to the farm. Otherwise my appointment yesterday with the trailer unfortunately did not work out like I hoped it would be uh, but I am still determined to find what I'm looking for, so I'll just save that for a later video. We are all loaded up, everything's strapped down, time to hit the road. Just trucking along, just crossed Noqualmie Pass. You couldn't really ask for better weather up here for hauling hay today. So nice and sunny and dry. I love where we live, up in the foothills of the Rockies, the Northeast Mountains. Uh, but Central Washington, it does have a certain beauty to it. I can't deny that. A uh, little lack of trees. But I really, really like where we live. And I don't think I'd want to live anywhere else. We're getting closer to home now. Well, here we are. We made it back on the farm. Thanks for coming along with us on our ride to get hay. Glad you could ride with me. Don't go away yet. This video is not over. So I know I said that I was disappointed at the trailer I looked at and that things wouldn't work out. Well, on the drive back, the very long drive back, I had a lot of time to think about things and I talked to a friend of mine who's a fabricator and I think I got a trailer. So when I looked at it, the framing underneath was really rusted, really bad. Uh, There's holes through it and I thought that it was a goner and uh, but talking to my friend and coming up with a plan, it can be patched and put back together and fixed up because it's not just a trailer, it's a milk tanker. And the, the tanker itself, the barrel, is in really good shape, stainless steel, and we need a milk tanker for the creamery. And so uh, I called them back and said, you know what, I think we can make this work and made an offer and we made a deal. Uh, what that means though, because of the damage that needs to be repaired is I can't just trailer back. That was kind of my original plan. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get somebody with a low boy or a drop deck to basically put it on another trailer to haul it back. But I'll figure that out this week. But uh, otherwise I'm excited about it. Uh, I'm excited about having a milk tanker, putting it behind 12, hauling milk for the creamery. And I'm glad I found this because I've been looking for a milk tanker for a long time and to find a smaller one that really would fit our needs has proven to be quite difficult. And so to find one right here in the state of Washington, I feel pretty lucky. So stay tuned. There'll be lots of videos as we fix up this trailer and we get 12 fixed up and so we can get them both back on the road.